Yeah, I was testing out this little theory. Um, I, normally, sometimes I'll use um, a charge controller with a um, sun, you know, a panel, solar panel, because if you have to have a charge controller or else you'll overcharge the, um, you know, the battery, you know, a normal battery. Now this panel, you don't need a charge controller with it because it's pretty small, but you know what? It's about the right exact size. I'm going to show you the dimensions here. You can see it's about 11 and a half inches. We'll say 12 inches with the plastic, you know, like not showing. It's probably underneath there. And about three and a half, four inches wide. So basically, you probably it's probably advertised by 12 inches long and four inches wide. Now, I have not checked this battery I have on this thing. You can see it's, uh, it's up on top of here. It's facing the sun pretty good. It's not super clean or nothing either. It's probably, it's gonna get cleaned right now. You can see the wire goes down, all right? And it's just attached to a battery. Now this battery is actually old as all uh, hell. It's, it's uh, I don't know, it's probably five years old, but it's in still in excellent shape. But I just keep it, I just keep this um, solar panel attached to it. Now I'm talking about cost. That panel might be, I don't know, 10 bucks. And, um, you don't need a charge controller with it because it's a very low output, but sometimes they're too low. It seems to be just right because it, like I put the uh, battery charger on it and I didn't charge it. I was, I was expecting to see it down a little bit because I have another panel that I always on another battery that I have to keep charging up every once in a while. This perfect, perfect, absolutely perfect. It's a full charge. It's not being overcooked, and it's just the right size solar panel. And it's like a, we have a combination of, um, uh, what do you call it, overcast days and sunny days. So and this is in Florida, but this panel, that panel being about 12 inches wide, and um, let's see, four, well, excuse me, 12 inches long and four inches wide, this thing is just right just right and I got it staked down here with a couple nails stays on here don't need a charge controller if you got several batteries you want to keep charged up just keep these panels in the sun it's not going to overcook them or nothing because they're too small for that you don't really need a charge controller with this thing that's the beauty of it so you can get these panels for like I, they're under 10 bucks I mean I think they're even cheaper than that depends on where you go but uh, that's all you need to do. So I think that's an extremely handy tip because a lot of people doing this survival type stuff and keeping some emergency things on hand, that's the way to go. Now what I'm going to do is like I'm going to take this battery out and I have a 1200 watt inverter and I'm going to use it with the electric weed whacker where I don't have to use long extension cords on the other side of the property. So, you know, you just take this little thing. It's almost like taking a little can of gas with you, you know. So I just connect the inverter to it, pick it up by the handle, and I can use the weed whacker. But this thing keeps a nice charge without overcharging with that little panel. You don't need a charge controller because it's not that powerful. But it's strong enough to keep it up to 100%. So that that's great. I didn't think it was going to keep it at 100%. Because I have one that's just a little bit smaller than that, and it's every couple months or so I got to put a charge on a battery. It doesn't like discharge discharge all the way, but it starts going down to like you know 75 percent or something. It's not that bad. It doesn't go down that bad. This keeps it up just perfect. So that's a 12 inch long by four inch wide um, solar panel. It works perfect. 